Hello to everyone who is clicking on this video thinking who the hell is this because you don't remember subscribing to my channel. Hi, hello, what is up you guys? It has been a minute since you've seen me on here. Understatement of the fucking century. But I am back with a video today because as you can tell from the title, my boyfriend and I, James, just bought a house, so I want to walk you guys through the house and do like a little empty house tour. Obviously, a few things to talk about before we get into the actual video. Obviously, I've been gone. I want my next video to be just kind of like a general life update Q&A, so if you guys have any specific questions about the move or literally anything, leave them in the comments down below. I'll probably ask on my Instagram stories too if you want to leave one there. Second thing, if any of you watching this video are in the Edmonton area and you're looking for a realtor, I want to recommend ours now I might just have the tiniest little smidgen of bias because our realtor is my brother but if you are looking to buy or sell in the near future I'm gonna have his info linked down below you should definitely hit him up and the final thing before I actually show you the house is we did just take possession of this house last night so a lot of work needs to be done we've done some like very light minimal cleaning but everything needs a super deep clean there was a single guy living here before and I think we're probably all familiar Familiar with how clean heterosexual men leave things when left to their own devices so some work needs to be done and we did buy this house wanting to do some renovations in the future I feel like I need to mention that because as I go through the house I'm gonna talk about like things I want to change and stuff like that and I just don't want it to come across as being like overly negative because we literally did buy this house knowing we wanted to make some changes and some upgrades and just put some love into it and make it even better than it already is but without further ado let's get started with the tour okay so starting at the very front of the house this is what you see when you come in through the front door this is our lovely entryway we've got some space here for our little console table and of course I feel like it goes without saying but excuse the echo in this video like I said we just moved in so the house is totally empty sounds probably not gonna be that great but at the front here we have a little coat closet that was loud <laughs> Nice and simple, and one thing I do want to mention is that we do have a really nice high ceilings. That was never a feature that like I knew I really wanted, but all of the houses I ended up really liking had the high ceilings. Anyways, stepping out of the entry to the one side here, we have this whole built-in desk situation. Also another thing too, the previous owners left all of their curtains in the house and we are keeping them just for the time being so we don't have to go out and buy a bunch of curtains at once, but we aren't keeping any of the curtains. None of them go with our decor style, so I just wanted to mention that. And then when you turn around on this side, we have got the staircase. One of the things we're doing today is doing a super deep clean of all of the carpets, because as you can see, they're looking pretty rough and the previous owner had a cat, so I'm pretty sure there's like a ton of cat hair embedded in there. And then this door here next to the stairs goes to the basement, which I'll probably show really quick just at the very end of the video. So then we step into the great room. I also do have a lot of the blinds and curtains closed just so I'm not giving like a full on view of our street and everything around us. And there might be some weird angles to avoid showing things nearby. On this side, we have the fireplace, which our TV will obviously be mounted above. And on top here, you guys can see I have a bunch of paint chips because the whole house needs to be painted. I mean, obviously look at this. <laughs> the walls are in pretty rough shape. I'm not going to lie. So we brought these here yesterday just to start getting an idea. And I'm also thinking that for the fireplace, I'm going to do some kind of like peel and stick makeover just to cover the brown tiles so it doesn't clash with like the gray tones we're going to be putting in. I'm going to do contact paper, peel and stick tile, something like that. I haven't decided yet. If you have any experience with that, let me know once again. I need all the advice I can get here. And our living room has this gigantic, beautiful window, which the shot definitely isn't doing it justice, but it is massive and it lets in so much light. And that is one of the things I loved about this house. There's so many windows and so much natural light. It's always one of my number one priorities, even when we were looking for our last apartment, because I am a depressed bitch, and especially this time of year, getting as much natural light in as you can is crucial. And to the side here, we have our back door and backyard, of course, which which is one of the things I'm over the moon about because you guys, I am so over apartment life, like having a dog in an apartment specifically. And we did actually bring Kobe here last night when we got the keys. So I'm gonna insert that footage now of him exploring the house and checking out the yard. Yeah, he's been like he says, really concerned about what's going on. This is why this all happened. Oh, look how excited he is. Get him, Sari. He's so cute. Look at in the window. Oh, he's gonna love that low window. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's true. Oh, the bud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Dad, Where are we? Is he exciting? Oh, he's oh. so happy. <laughs> oh. Are all, your, all his favorite people are here. Oh. Do you want to go in the backyard? Does it look good? Do I see the Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at the snow. Oh. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Get him to go. There he goes. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. A little booty shake. Oh. We've got like a very standard size yard for the area we're in. It's got like a nice little deck built, but aside from that, it's basically bare, which I actually enjoy because some of the houses we looked at, the yards that already had a lot of work done to them, I was like, I don't really like the work that they've done. So long story short, I enjoy that it's like kind of a blank canvas for us to work with and do whatever we want with. I just realized James left this box here. He was supposed to take it with him when he went. <laughs> And so that brings us to what is what I consider one of the most important parts of the house and that is the kitchen and dining room area. Let's start over on this side. Got a nice big granite island, another huge window in the kitchen and crazy tall to the ceiling cabinets which you might have noticed. Got any step ladder here? That is for me because these are literally so tall. Like I don't think it does it justice. This is how high it can reach in comparison to the cabinet. But it's obviously great because it gives us a ton of storage. We can put all the stuff up there that we don't really reach for that often. One thing we're going to be doing is buying a new fridge right away. I feel like the appliances, they're not bad, but it's one of the things that like date this house a little bit. So really want to get a better fridge, you know, with like the fridge on top, freezer on the bottom. And this is what the storage situation is on the other side of the island. And there also is some overhang. So we're going to have our bar stools on this side. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we will be doing some renovations. And one of the big projects that we have in mind is completely redoing the kitchen, which some of you are probably thinking I'm crazy. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with this kitchen. Like it's actually pretty decent looking, all things considered. It's just that none of the features are things I would personally choose. Like I wouldn't choose this countertop or this backsplash or like brown cupboards or anything like that. And because I am so passionate about cooking and baking, I want my kitchen to be absolutely perfect. Yeah, that is something I am hoping to document in a video at some point. And you probably also noticed that over in the dining room area, we have this wall of cupboards. This is going to function as our pantry area. Also still, really needs a deep clean. I was a little iffy about this at first because I was thinking I would prefer a pantry like we have now where it's like its own little room that you can walk into. And I thought it's going to be kind of weird to have to step around the dining room table every time I need to get an ingredient out when I'm cooking. But then I deep cleaned our pantry at our apartment the other day and I realized that it's kind of a pain to have like a whole other room that you need to sweep and mop and everything like that. So now I'm looking at this and I'm kind of like, okay, this is actually pretty nice because it'll be so much easier to keep clean. Once again, we've got some weird froofy little curtains here that we will not be keeping. And we're also going to be selling this light fixture. So if any of you are local and you're interested in buying it, you can hit me up. We will be swapping that out for something that's a little bit more our style. Another reason I wanted to reno this kitchen is because our dining room table is brown and our bar stools are also brown. So I feel like with this big wall of brown cabinetry, it's just going to be so much brown and there isn't going to be enough contrast. So I'm thinking probably gonna go like super modern, bright white cabinets with like contrasting dark hardware. And eventually one day, the vision is to kind of have a wide plank, very modern hardwood floor going throughout the entire main floor, just so it's all cohesive. I feel like this tile looks really bad on photos and videos. Like it looks like linoleum, but it is actually tile. It just, it looks cheap in photos for some reason. Like when we actually walked through the house for the first time, I was like, oh, that's so much nicer than I thought it would be. So then down here, there's a couple of stairs. We have the coat closet. That door is for the garage, which I'm not going to show. And then when you step down here, we've got our little main floor half bath. This looks so sketchy because it literally looks right into our neighbor's window. You can see the old owners put this kind of like shade 
on the window here so you can't actually see anything in from the other side but I think I'm gonna peel that off and get some kind of like frosted glass effect contact paper and cover that window with it just so it doesn't look so questionable. Once again, garage door, closet coming out of here. I like the little steps here. I don't know why, that's just a feature I really like. <laughs> and so then we are going to go upstairs to the second floor. So this is the view from the top of the stairs at the second floor. I don't know what it is because I am not like a holiday or Christmas decor person at all, but every time we viewed a house that had banisters like this, all I could think about was having like a nice holiday garland wrapped around them. Got another nice huge window at the top of the stairs here. Nice view of the neighbor's siding, but it does let in a lot of light. And then, oh, I'm so excited for this, you guys. We have a proper laundry room. Another questionable curtain. And once again, this is another area of the house where you can see that things are a little bit dated from this washer and dryer. But I am ecstatic about this for a number of reasons. First of all, in our apartment, our laundry room was also our only storage space in the entire unit. So to have a designated space just for laundry is just like chef's kiss, amazing. And also, I have lived in three different houses over the course of my life, not including the places we've rented, and I have never had upper floor laundry. You know those feeds on Twitter that are like, if you grew up lower middle class, like what are the things that like just signify like ultimate luxury and wealth for you? Having a laundry room on the top floor of your house is one of them for me. It's just steps away from our bedroom. That's literally so nice. And once again, this is a room that has potential to be beautiful with some simple renos. Like I'm thinking, you know, some cabinetry up here, a rod in between to hang clothes, and then like a nice countertop over the appliances. So moving along in the hallway, we have our guest washroom. I mean, we're really not going to end up using this washroom. Kobu will get bathed in that bath, but that's probably about it. So it doesn't matter too much, but another window, which is amazing. And there is a really nice vanity sink and more storage in here. Over here, we have just got a linen closet. It's actually very spacious. And then this is the third bedroom technically. Wow, the wall is so dirty there. I never noticed that before. This bedroom is pretty simple. And then we have what I'm referring to as the second bedroom. I have to be a little bit strategic about how I show this room because there is this gigantic, beautiful window. This is probably the best shot I can get, unfortunately. Maybe this shot is a little bit better. I don't know. It's awkward to film. Kind of wish this was in our primary bedroom, but the fact that it's not just means that I get this for my beauty room, which I'm stoked about because this light is going to be absolutely killer for doing my makeup and getting ready in. It's also got this cool vaulted ceiling up above the window. And aside from that, it's very standard. But let's go back around and show you one of the final parts of the house, and that is our primary bedroom. So first of all, before we even enter, our bedroom does have beautiful French doors. This is another small reno I actually wanna do. We're gonna swap out these doors for some very classic French doors that have some frosted glass panes on them. I feel like if you have French doors, you just need that. And I feel like that's just one of those small, really simple changes that will take this house to the next level level and make it like extra luxurious and it'll also let in more light which obviously you guys know I'm crazy about so this is the bedroom this bedroom is gigantic our furniture is going to feel comically small in this space like we have a very low profile queen bed and it's just going to look absolutely hilarious up against this wall because the previous owners had a gigantic king size bed and it still looked small in this room. Got some nice windows in either corner here, and our TV is probably gonna be mounted on this wall. Dresser over here, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> this door is our walk-in closet. Very spacious, very basic though, just metal racks, but tons of room. And then this room is our beautiful ensuite. We've got his and hers sinks. I love the little details too. Like I actually really like these faucets. And of course we've got the matching granite countertops to the rest of the house. But the thing I'm literally weeping with excitement over is this soaker tub. And once again, another huge window. Like this window is absolutely massive for an ensuite. We didn't see any other houses with ensuites like this. And this was kind of my dream. You know, like my top of the list, if we can find a house with these features, I will be incredibly happy. And that is a soaker tub, but also an above builder grade walk-in shower that is separate. And we got both of those things. They were actually really hard to find the combination of both. 
a lot of the houses that did have a soaker tub had just like a very small single stall white shower that was very basic so this combo i'm in heaven with this <laughs> and these are actually the only curtains in the house that i think i don't hate so these might actually stay up for a while but i can't wait to take baths in here one thing i noticed yesterday though let me show you guys here i am literally eye level with the shower knob in here it is so high it's like james designed this shower because that's like perfect height for him but for me, it's literally the same height as I am. It's so weird. But yeah, that is the shower. That is basically our new house. I will insert a quick clip of the basement here, just so you guys can see. The layout of this basement is just kind of weird in general. There's not a lot that can be done with it. They painted everything this like baby blue color, which it's not a bad color, but not a color I would pick for entire floor of your house, really. Like, it's just an odd choice. James plans to fully finish the basement, and that's just going to be, like, an entertainment area for him. I don't want to say man cave, but it's going to be, like, an area for him to watch sports, basically. But yeah, anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you so much. You don't even understand. By the time this video is up, we will be living here full time, and I can't wait for that. We have a full week until we officially move everything over and sleep here for the first time. I considered filming this video. Video a little bit later on you know once we've kind of deep cleaned and done some of the painting but I thought it would be really fun to one day look back on this video and see the full scope of the transformation that's going to happen just for our own memories but also to have like a good before and after for you guys because like I said I do want to show some of the renovations and vlog a little bit more and include all of you in this new chapter in our lives this is the most exciting thing to happen to us in literally such a long time with everything that's been going on I'm sure a lot of you will relate when I say that life has just been so monotonous and boring and there has been very little to look forward to and it's just the first thing that I've had in a really long time that I actually wanted to share and felt like it was worth sharing. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave things. We have a ton of work to do here this week. Um, I'm gonna link some videos down below that answer like frequently asked questions that I get all the time. If you guys could go watch some of my videos, if any of them interest you, just to keep my channel from completely dying, that would really help me out. I'm really looking forward to being back here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna keep up with my life more, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Rihanna on both. And if for some reason this is the first video of mine you're seeing, I would love if you hit subscribe down below, but I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.